Brother Muhammad is asking about the Tablighi Jama'ah. And everybody knows that Tablighi Jama'ah is one of the large groups of uh, Muslims who are widely spread in the subcontinent. So India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh, and they have their annual convention in Bangladesh, uh, in Dhaka, if I'm not mistaken. They have a lot of things that are good, and they have a lot of things that are bad. So they are the kindest of the groups. They're peaceful. They're very generous. They're nice, uh, um, easygoing people. I know a lot of them, and they used to visit me in my home, and we used to talk. They're very kind, very generous. They abide by a lot of the sunnah, such as growing the beard, shorting the thobe, using the miswak, observing salat in the masjid, reciting the Quran, making dhikr. All of these things are beautiful in them. However, they have a lot of innovative things like their six usul, depending on tablighi nisab, the book, and fazail al-a'mal, which is filled of innovative and fabricated and weak hadiths. They depend on their self-seclusion with the group. So it is a form of Sufism, where they tend to travel for three a week, days, a week, 10 days, 40 days, and they go from one place to the other, usually stay at masjids, eat together, sleep together, go visitation between Dhuhr and Asr and Maghrib or Maghrib and Isha, knocking doors of Muslims, inviting them to come to the masjid, uh, making dhikr. They have also the bayan, where people after Fajr stand up and say that I did so and so and so yesterday and this happened to me. And some of it is true and some of it is fabricated or they tend to lie sometimes in order to draw people to join them. But not, this is not the norm, but I've seen this. So in essence, they have a lot of good in them, but they don't promote jihad. They do not promote scientific uh, uh, circles of knowledge because they think that this fuels dispute whether this is halal or haram. So they refrain from learning a lot of the knowledge. And that is why you don't find a lot of academics among them. And if you listen to their leaders, all of their tales and hadiths, the vast majority of it are fabricated. They have no knowledge in Sharia, yet they speak and they're storytellers. In short, as people, they are good. If they visit you, welcome them in, give them food, talk to them, try to draw them a little bit to the sunnah as much as possible. Going out with them is totally not recommended except for those who have knowledge. So if you are a highly decorated student of knowledge and they're willing to listen to you and they invite you to go with them for three days, go. In these three days, give them da'wah. Infuse them with knowledge of following the sunnah, of the correct aqeedah, of submitting their will to Allah, not to their leadership. And if you succeed in that, that's a lot of good, inshallah, Allah knows best.